Hello, and welcome to the Jupyter Server installation tutorial for Windows 10. The first prerequisite is we need to make sure that Hyper-V is enabled, which will allow us to run Linux Docker containers on a Windows host. To verify that Hyper-V is running, open the control panel, select Programs, Select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down until you find Hyper-V. Expand it. And finally, verify that Hyper-V Platform is checked. So now that we've verified that Hyper-V is running, we will go ahead and install Docker, which is the second prerequisite to installing the Jupyter server on Windows. For Windows 10, Docker Desktop is the recommended Docker platform and it can be downloaded from the Docker Hub for free. I've already downloaded mine, so I'll go ahead and run it. And just make sure that you don't check the box where it says Windows containers instead of Linux containers. And this shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. All right, the Docker installation is all done. If we go to our terminal and try entering a Docker command, we'll notice that there's an error message. That's most likely because we haven't actually started the Docker service yet. I've added a shortcut to my desktop, so I'll go ahead and start that up. The icon at the bottom right should let us know when it's done starting. This shouldn't take more than a minute. Docker is now active. Let's test it by running a simple Docker command in PowerShell. Perfect. So now that Docker is installed, I'll go ahead and install the Jupyter server. So here I have the Cognos installer up and ready to go. I'm going to point it to the zip file. And I'll go ahead and use the default path for the installation at C, Program Files, IBM, Cognos, Jupyter. Create directory and install. So this shouldn't take more than about five minutes. Now that it's all done, we'll navigate to the installation directory. Next, we'll navigate to dist scripts windows. Now one thing that we have to do that is different than the Linux installation is we'll have to enter the fully qualified domain name of this Windows server, and that can be done in the config.conf file. And the variable you'll have to set is hostname. So I'll go ahead and enter my domain name. Save the file and make sure that there are no typos because this is the address that the kernel will use to create the connection from your browser. So once that's done, we're good to go. Simply run the install.bat script to begin the installation. And this shouldn't take more than about five to 10 minutes. Now that it's finished, we should verify that the containers are up and running by using the Docker command docker ps a. There should be two containers up, just like on Linux, the CA Jupyter Hub and the CA Jupyter Viewer. Now the last piece of the installation is to hook up your instance of Cognos Analytics with the Jupyter server that we just installed. 
I've got mine right here. So what we'll do is we'll enter the Manage panel, Configuration, System, Environment, and next to the Jupyter Service location, we'll enter the host and port of our Windows 10 server. And the default port is 8000. Apply. This will require a browser refresh. And for the final test, let's open a new notebook. And once the kernel connects, we'll know we're good to go. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you found this tutorial useful.